Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, in this diagram, I have a quadrilateral that is labeled a rhombus, rhombus, R-H-O-M. Notice that the diagonals intersect at point B. So I'm given that the angle R-H-B is 22 degrees, and I'm given that side R-M is 13 inches. I know it's a rhombus, and I'm trying to solve for the angle at D, the angle at E, the angle at F, and the other side, G. So let's remember about a rhombus. What do we know about a rhombus? Well, a rhombus is a parallelogram. Opposite sides are congruent. I also know that the diagonals intersect so that they bisect each other, and they are perpendicular to each other. So the very first place to start is to notice that angle D here must be 90 degrees. That's the definition of a rhombus. Now, also, for congruent sides, the only way to have a parallelogram with perpendicular diagonals in a rhombus means that all four sides are congruent. It's like a square, but it's leaning. So G must also be 13 inches. So to find out our angles E and F, we need to remember that inside the diagonals of a rhombus, they create right triangles. So you notice that this triangle here, RBH, is definitely a right triangle, because we know that angle D is 90 degrees. So if this angle here is 22 degrees, we know that its partner angle here is complementary to it. So 90 take away 22 must be 68 degrees. So if that's 68 degrees, we have all kinds of angles that are 68 degrees. So this angle here must be 68 degrees. Angle F must be 68 degrees because we have some parallel lines and alternate interior angles. And angle E must be 22 degrees because we have bisected angles everywhere you look. So as I fill in all the rest of these angles, notice how balanced a rhombus is. The diagonals bisect each opposite angle pair, and they bisect each other. Nice job. You have solved the rhombus. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.